Is Project 2025 the end of democracy in America? Today, we dive deep into what some are calling one of the most dangerous political scheme in all of American history. The Heritage Foundation, a well-known conservative think tank, has launched Project 2025. On the surface, it seems like a plan to reshape government policies. But dig deeper, and you'll find a blueprint that could fundamentally alter American democracy. First, let's talk about the plan's ambition. Project 2025 aims to dismantle regulatory agencies, reduce government oversight, and shift power to the executive branch. Sounds like a lot of political jargon, but here's what it means for you and me. Imagine a world where environmental protections are rolled back, where healthcare regulations are stripped down, where corporate interests can operate with minimal restrictions. This isn't just theoretical, it's a direct threat to the checks and balances that keep our democracy in place. Now, some might argue that reducing government interference is a good thing. But consider this, without proper checks, who holds the powerful accountable? The answer is no one. Project 2025 also proposes an overhaul of the civil service. The goal? To replace career officials with political appointees. This could lead to a government run by loyalists rather than experts, undermining the very foundation of a nonpartisan civil service. Critics argue that this plan paves the way for authoritarianism, concentrating power in the hands of a few. And history teaches us that when power is unchecked, democracy suffers. So, is Project 2025 the end of democracy in America? Only time will tell. But one thing is clear. Staying informed and engaged is more crucial now than ever. Thanks for watching. Stay vigilant, stay informed. Jisa.